We already made few terrariums and didn't forget about it. Today we're gonna make a special terrarium that is gonna be filled with water and with living organisms and hermetically sealed. First we bought this glass container. Cookie already feels something is going on. Then we got this fine grained sand and poured it thickness about 3-4 cm. Next we need root of any tree. It's gonna be not only for decoration but also for other important use. Apparently in a water it will be a float and to solve this issue we can stick something heavy to it, for instance a piece of a rock. Now take a tap water and pour it inside. Water became a little muddy because small pieces of sand are inside of it. First plant is gonna be water moss. It should be attached to a root, then it will stick to it. We got this real rope. Maybe it will decompose in the water. Well, bury a rock in the sand and it will cling tight. Then we took this plant and that one. Plant it near root. Excess of a plant we're gonna bury in sand, so it will decompose and make biological material for other growing plants. But after that we had a doubt that all of this planting aren't enough for development of plants. We found out on internet that there is a special aquarium soil, which consists of something like fertilizer. No matter how much we didn't want it, but we had to do it again and go to that store changing the sand to that substrate. It was something like a dark balls and we knew that's what we need. By the way, we also got new plants and our terrarium became even better. Though now it's an aquarium rather than terrarium. Before putting living organisms there, terrarium should stay in this condition about a week or little more. So in order to make microflora and multiply bacteria, because at the moment it's dead and we can't put animals there. To make a process quicker, we can add special thing for a fast start of aquariums or from a neighbor we can loan a water from existing aquarium. That's what we did. Here are things that we will settle in our terrarium. This is special tiny shrimp. They are really tenacious, probably perfect option for our experiment. But in this video we aren't gonna seal our aquarium, because we need your help. Especially from people who are experiencing this. The most important thing is to make an environment for survival of a shrimp. We know that it can eat small seaweed, that's why we need to make a cycle of biosphere with sufficient amount of seaweed so it can keep up and won't be eaten at all. Shrimp needs minerals and calcium. We gotta think how can we provide these elements. It would be most desirable to give protein to shrimp. Maybe we can put snail in the aquarium and shrimp will eat it and never die. The thing is, snail will eat all seaweed, which is essential element in providing biological stability. There might be other ways to start living food, which will multiply on its own, giving food to a shrimp. Maybe some mussels or microscopic organisms. Filling biosphere with water or leave a little bit of space with oxygen. And what thickness? Anyways, there are tons of questions and I hope y'all can help us. Write your tips of improving the environment of terrarium in the comments below. Yeah, probability of failure is pretty high. Some of you might say that it's impossible and start to critique. Well, that's why we call it an experiment. Let's make a really good condition for keeping biological balance in order to increase odds for success. Since in other terrariums almost two years life goes on and insects are not complaining.